have I got a good one for you guys today. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all staying safe, staying at home, and that's important, hanging out with your families, being responsible in a very difficult time. Right, today's video is essentially a transfer news video because I'm actually talking about two players, but really, I want to get into it properly with Philippe Coutinho. We all remembered he was a really good player for Liverpool. If you think back properly, you're like, yeah, he was their best player and went off to Barcelona and obviously he's been pretty poor since. He can be available for very, very little and I want to take this opportunity to remind you guys, or at least show you guys, the absolutely incredible, incredible numbers he was posting in the Premier League. And suddenly, what I think, Chelsea have to seriously consider this transfer if indeed it's available. Also, Chelsea are in for a Verona centre-back and I want to express my thoughts on that too. But first, a massive thank you to all you lot who have donated to my NHS fundraiser. It really is heartwarming. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave the link down in the top of the description. We're doing well. We're climbing in terms of the total amount uh, raised. Uh, you have the chance to win a Chelsea Football Club shirt if you donate and leave your Twitter handle in the donation message. Thank you so much again. Please consider donating. All right, let's get into it. So let's talk about this centre-back before we get into the Philippe Coutinho stuff. Now, I'm... I, Okay, I do want to stress that after looking at the stats and metrics for Coutinho, that suddenly I'm on the hype train. I'm on the hype train. I've had a coffee, so this is why this is going on, but I'm on the hype train. But let's get the admin out of the way and talk about this sort of Verona centre-back. <coughs> £21 million rated, very reasonable Verona centre-back, Marash Kumbula. 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 It's happening again. Apparently, Antonio Conte is really in for this player as well. Conte loves the centre back, doesn't he? 21 million. Now, I don't want to spend too long on this player because I have to be honest here, I have not watched this Verona centre back, up and coming young defensive player. Apparently, he's highly rated, but I looked at his stats and I was like, meh. Stats don't obviously say everything, and on the surface of it, it just doesn't really look exciting in terms of the numbers he's posting but of course the eye test is often more important and like i said i haven't watched him but on the surface of it like i said it looks like a 21 year old promising center back that's right footed that's got you know potential but not amazing and i was like wow that's like all chelsea center backs they've got already <laughs> do you know what i mean why don't we just get like a beast of a left foot who's just amazing or upper meccano or someone like that you know I mean, you guys might tell me in the comments that I'm wrong, that you've watched this guy and you'll be like, yeah, he's really good, man. Check him out. 21 million is a snip. We should absolutely buy this player. Then fair enough. I trust your judgment. But at the moment, I don't know enough about him. I'm just sort of reading the headlines. So I guess we'll see where it goes with that. Right, we've waited long enough. Let's talk about the Brazilian, Philippe Coutinho. So, okay, his transfer value has dropped massively since he signed for Barcelona. Please see this graph from Transfer Mark seeing his value drop massively. Now, Barcelona bought Coutinho from Liverpool a couple of seasons ago plus for 142 million pounds. Sure, they probably overpaid for him, but that's just an incredible... What, what does that make him? The third most expensive behind Neymar and... Mbappe was like Joe Felix. In, he's, he's in and around top five easily. So so much money, and everyone just thought, oh yeah, he's quite a talented player. He won. He was flirting with Barcelona. Barcelona flirting with him. It just ended up in like an amazingly large transfer fee. True to a degree, but oh my god, I think I f forgot how good this guy is, or how good he was in the Premier League, in the top echelons of competitive European football. He was excellent. I mean, he was easily Liverpool's best player. So we all know it hasn't really worked for him. He's gone on loan to Bayern Munich, done okay. They're not gonna exercise the option to buy him. And a player that only quite recently cost over 140 million pounds is rumored to be available for 63 million pounds. Philippe Coutinho is 27 years old. He's in his prime, like he is in his prime. Less than half the price he went for to Barcelona. This guy hasn't just, he hasn't got like a career ending injury. He's not like in his 30s. He's in his prime. So this is the point where you go to me, a Jan, look man, he's Coutinho from Liverpool. We don't want him. Remember like he went to Barca, he threw his toys out of the plan. He's Pram, he's Liverpool's player and all this sort of stuff. Just think about it, just chill, chill, chill. Like I love, 
um, Chelsea's young, exciting players. I'm a fan of Mason Mount, but if Philippe Coutinho came to Chelsea, I'd be okay with Mason Mount being benched so he can come and play that creative sort of left centre mid number 10 role that he did for Liverpool. So just take a second and listen to me give you some numbers about how he was performing for Liverpool. Remember, he might not have had... Going to Barcelona is difficult. Coutinho, uh, Ousmane Dembele, Griezmann, uh, there's more that have gone over there to try and replace Neymar and struggle because of the politics and the chemistry at Barcelona. It's difficult and the pressure from the fans. If he comes to a club like Chelsea, creative attacking football, pressing football like Liverpool played, and he's demonstrated he can tear up the Premier League. He's cool in that environment, and I'll tell you why. So remember the season he went to Barcelona, he pretty much stopped playing for Liverpool. He went on strike, and sure, this is an immediate red flag in terms of demonstrating poor behavior, but remember, I remember the Chelsea fans singing, where is Coutinho? Where is Coutinho? Which is obviously pretty funny. That season, he got 20 goal contributions across the Premier League and the Champions League. Central midfielder, you know, playing in the midfield free, pretty good numbers, but look closer. He didn't actually play much at all because he went on a supposed strike or whatever. So these numbers are actually incredible. He contributed to 13 Premier League goals in just 13 appearances. That's right, one goal involvement per appearance that season from central midfield. Oh my giddy aunt, hang out, it gets better in a moment. Oh yeah, <laughs> nearly forgot to say, in that season as well, wait, before he went on strike, six goal involvements in four appearances in the Champions League. The two most competitive competitions in the world, the Premier League and the Champions League. No problem for Coutinho at that point. So right, chill, okay, so he scores a lot of goals, he assists a lot of goals, but we, if you know Coutinho, if you've watched him before, you know that's not really just his game. He is a creative midfielder, very, very creative, and he's a very good ball carrier slash dribbler. That season, Philippe Coutinho averaged 2.7 key passes per game, that's right, 2.7. You look at the likes of Mason Mount, is doing 1 to 1.5, which is okay but 2.7 per game, very, very creative indeed. And he doesn't just have to play the creative pass or take a shot or try and play an assist. He is a ball carrier as well. Three dribbles per game on average over the Premier League and the Champions League. Again, two very competitive competitions, three dribbles per game. Nearing the Eden Hazard numbers, but being more of a sort of creative midfielder playing between the lines, but scoring on and assisting a lot of goals as well. This wasn't a fluke season that got his move to Barcelona. The season before where he played nearly a whole season, perhaps he was out a little bit with fatigue or injury, he got 20 Premier League goal involvements. Again, from central midfield, 20 Premier League goal involvements is an incredibly handsome return. Now, this is only the, t this is the two last seasons he played in the Premier League. The way we talk about him, or the way I'm talking about him, might sound, oh yeah, he's really old now, pull him back. He's 27. He's 27, and it'll cost 60 million pounds. It's such, a, I, people could say it's a risk, right? It's, and maybe there is, maybe that's why his price is like less than half than it went to Barcelona for. Significantly less than half. But the fact remains, he's very, very talented. And it's not like it's a risk taking him to the Premier League in terms of how is he gonna deal with the speed and physicality. He quite literally tore up the Premier League, not just scoring goals, not just assisting goals, but being creative, playing between the lines, loads of key passes, loads of successful dribbles. Remember, he can curl those long shots into the top corner from that sort of just in front of the hole on the pitch. Dude can do it all. Dead ball specialist as well, although you could argue Chelsea of Hakim Ziyech for that kind of stuff now, plus other players as well. Still, I just wanted to put this out there. If Chelsea, for example, are looking for someone to occupy more central space, if Ziyech is gonna play on the right, imagine Ziyech, Coutinho, Pulisic occupying those free spaces behind a uh, behind the striker. Suddenly you're looking very, very creative indeed and everyone can score goals as well as create them. I'm not saying I'm a Coutinho fanboy. No, I'm not at all. What I am is someone who wants Chelsea to develop and be great again. Looking at this player and remembering what he did in the Premier League, you know, he'll be 10 million pounds less than what Pepe cost to Arsenal. 
I know that's like an still was like the unfair benchmark that everyone picked up, like Pepe was at Arsenal. Ten million pounds less, and he's already demonstrated that he can absolutely tear up the Premier League. And I think it's the same age, isn't he, or thereabouts? You do the math, and it will be funny for him to come to Chelsea Football Club and score a goal against Liverpool. I mean, come on, worth the money for that alone? <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think? Get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts on the Verona centre-back, I've already forgotten his name, and what do you think about Philippe Coutinho? Would you have him at Chelsea? Those numbers really are incredible, and he's still in his prime. For that money, would you do it? I probably would. You know, that's less of a risk than paying twice as much for Jadon Sancho. I know he's old, he's, um, yeah, he's older. Anyway, what do you think? Get down in the comments section below, like the video if you've enjoyed the content, subscribe if you are indeed new, feel free to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Stay safe, enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,